Brian Higgins here. We've got the starting quarterback, A.J. Long. We've got the leading wide receiver in Jared West. They happen to be cousins coming our way from Pennsylvania. And, I mean, obviously you guys have known each other your whole life. What was this like? Let's start with you, A.J., growing up playing football together. I mean, actually, we never played football together. He was always four years older than me. So, I mean, when I started playing flags, he was already in the upper weight classes. So, I mean, being able to go and, like, watch him and then being in middle school, watching him play high school ball, I mean, it was never playing with him. It was just watching and learning and understanding, like, why certain things were done and how they were done. Really, he was more of a mentor. Even in the backyard, Jared, was he not involved in your games? Was he too little? You had to, you had to keep him out? Yeah, I mean, it, I would go and watch, like, watch him play flag and stuff when I was playing tackle and stuff. So it was a little different. But uh, we both played quarterback, so it was pretty cool. All right, it's been a moment here, I'd say, years in the making then, if it hasn't been until your senior year in college. When A.J. gets his shot a few weeks ago, how confident were you that he would be able to come in and uh, get it done? I mean, uh, growing up watching him play, I knew that uh, he's a guy who always loves and makes plays. And uh, he, I knew that him stepping in, uh, he would be a great for the position just because he likes to extend plays. Having guys like me, Steve Ishmael, Adrian Fleming, and uh, guys like that, uh, he's in a great position. Especially, A.J., for you, when Jared is one-on-one -on, -one on the outside, or Steve, I think it's those two. If you see them, you're not hesitating, right? That ball's going in that direction. Oh, yes, definitely. I mean, I don't, I don't know too many people that can cover them one-on-one -on -one coverage for I mean, three seconds. That's, that's hard to do. I mean, both of them are tall, both of them can jump, and they both have great hands. So, I mean, that's, that's mismatches in DB's worst nightmares. What's it been like for both you guys on offense? We know you, your line is fighting as hard as possible, but they are banged up at this point of the season. AJ, we'll, we'll start with you. What, what's it like trying to keep things going when those guys are battling as hard as they can, but they're just not 100% right now? I mean, you just got to keep their spirits up. I mean, uh, you're going to take hits. I mean, that's the, that's the nature of the game, especially when people are banged up. So just keeping their spirits up and letting them know, hey, I'm all right. This is football. I'm going to take hits. But at the same time, every time I take a hit, we're going to make a play for it. We're going to make two plays for it. I mean, if y'all can give me two seconds. If y'all can give me two and a half, I'll get the ball off so that way I don't get hit, y'all look good, and we're just moving down the field. So that, that's been the key thing. All right, Jared, you, you've been playing football a long time. Have you ever seen anything injury-wise like what your offensive line is dealing with right now? Uh, I mean, we, we, we struggled a couple of times with, with this issue, but uh, I mean, I think we're handling it pretty well for what we have. And um, I mean, if we just keep, like, like AJ said, if we just get a couple seconds, we could just, we could just chuck the ball up there. and. Uh, Hopefully it makes some plays, so it's always good. All right, it's a senior day for you against uh, Duke this weekend. What do you expect the emotions to be like? Uh, it's going to be a real emotional day. Obviously, my last game in the Dome, uh, my whole family will be there. And I mean, I'm really excited, but I'm sad for it to come to an end. But, I mean, it was a great experience. Syracuse treated me so well, and I'm really proud to be a Syracuse alumni after this year. And lastly, for both of you, we'll start with you, AJ. We know what you got to do. The bowl game is still a goal, and it is still possible at this point. How much does that weigh any at this point, and how much do you got to put that out of your mind? I mean, it, it weighs because you want to send these guys out on a bang. You want to send them out feeling good and not like, oh, man, we, we let it down. Like, we dropped the baton. No, you want to go out. You want to go out with a bang and make sure that these guys are happy in there. I mean, they, they can go out of college feeling like, I left college with three, four bowl rings. Like, that's, that's not too many things people do. So, I mean, just doing that and, and going out and playing football, I mean, it's going to be his last game in the Dome, as he said. It's, it don't get much better than that after a place that you spent four, him being five years here. I mean, it, it's it's going to be fun. It's going to be special. Yeah, Jared, what's your feeling here last quarter of the season, just football-wise, as you guys attack it here? Uh, I'm, just, I'm just excited. I'm trying not to look too far ahead, just taking it one game at a time. Uh, but uh, I can see the end is coming near, and it's... It's, it's pretty, it's pretty start, stressful at times, but uh, I mean, I'm just trying to soak everything in, take every last moment of it. All right, guys, pretty cool. Cousins getting to play together. Enjoy it this week and the rest of the season.